Welcome back. I am so glad to see you again. So how about today we review the submission and publication processes? As you know, a successful publication will start with a successful submission. As an author, after completing the preparation of your manuscript, you should send two files by email to the journal. Those files are the cover letter, prepared using our cover letter template file, and the file containing the manuscript itself. It is always better to send your manuscript file already using the journal template file for the manuscripts. Your original email automatically receives a tracking code that you may use anytime it is necessary. This journal has adopted as its tracking code the submission date. That is readily available on your email. Remember to always reply the messages and avoid sending new messages when working on the same submission. Consider that we receive several emails per day, therefore follow this procedure will ensure that none of your messages gets lost in the mailbox slowing down your publication. After receiving your email, an editor will make an initial analysis of it. Among other items, it will be verified if both files have arrived. What is the scope of the manuscript? If the manuscript contains the structure of publication required by the journal, what is the amount of suspicion of plagiarism present in the manuscript, if any? At this point, the manuscript can already be rejected if the problems are considered impossible to be solved. The manuscript can be returned to the author asking for adjustments, or it can proceed to the peer review phase. The reviewers are normally selected by the journal, however the journal may request the author to suggest some names, depending on the situation. If no one is available to review the manuscript, it will cause an undetermined delay in the publication of the manuscript. The return of the review comes back to the editor. If no modifications are necessary, at this point, if the author wants a letter of acceptance, he can get one. If modifications are necessary, the manuscript will return to the author that must provide the proper improvements in the manuscript and later send it back for verification. This process may occur more than once. If everything is fine, a preprint of the manuscript is produced and sent to the author for a final inspection as a not valid file. If everything is okay, an invoice order will be created. After the receipt of the payment from the invoice order, the manuscript will be published in the next available issue. Please note the publication capacity of the journal in a way that the next available issue may not be the closest one. Moreover, Remember that we only accept submissions sent to us through our email. Nobody is authorized to represent us or speak on the journal behalf. If you have any questions, please contact us through our official communication channels available on our website. If you have made an improper submission of a manuscript using one of our support channels, such as WhatsApp or Telegram, you will have to rectify the submission by sending it to our email account. We trust that by following the proper procedures, we will always ensure a good publication experience and a good quality final product. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you again at my next presentation.